In this tutorial, we'll see how to use diff against option in a US config module. First, we'll go through the documentation. To enable diff against, you need to give hyphen hyphen diff in the Ansible playbook command. If you give hyphen hyphen diff, we have three options. We can do the diff against running startup or intended config. And if you give running, this will compare the current configuration with running config. And if you give startup, it can compare with startup. And if you give intended, we need to give one more additional parameter here intended config. For passing intended config, we need to use file filter plugin. We'll see that option as well. Now let us start writing the code. We'll go to VS Code. This particular script we have written in the previous video where we have seen how to enable backup option and give a custom file name and a path. For this demo, I'll disable backup option. And here we'll give diff against for running. Diff underscore against and we'll give running save it and we'll try running the playbook so here we have to give hyphen hyphen diff else it won't be printing the difference so first we'll try without hyphen hyphen diff so here we are not getting any difference though we are giving diff against we are not able to see any difference and I'll try to change the config to domain one. Save it. And if you run it, this will change the config, but this won't show the difference. Now this is changing the domain name config of all these three routers. Now I'll revert the config. And this time I'll give base hyphen hyphen diff. Enter. Now this will print the configuration difference here. And for each device, we'll be able to see the configuration difference. And if you look into the response message, we have a key diff, and inside that we have after and a before key. So we can see the before config and after config. And now this has changed the configuration to test domain.com and I'll change this to one device so that we can easily see the changes and here we'll be able to see the updates we'll scroll up changed is true here now we'll try to run this again With hyphen hyphen diff, we'll try to run. This time, changed is false. In the previous execution, we were able to see the command which Ansible has deleted and the new command which added. So, in this way, you can compare the configuration against running config. Same like that, we can do the comparison against startup save it and we'll try to run this hyphen hyphen diff since there is a difference it is showing as changed but actually it is not changing any device configuration we'll verify that as well in the startup config we have test.com and in the running config we have test domain.com that is why it is showing changed because it is not compliant with startup config we can verify the config of the device here i'll give show run ip domain and here it is test domain.com and here i'll change to startup ip domain here it is test.com 
now if we change this to test.com now we'll try to run this now configuration has changed but there is no difference between startup and running now we'll try to run this again this time changed is false now we'll see how to use indented config we'll go to the documentation for running diff against indented config we need to pass additional argument called indented underscore config here we can see this provides master configuration that node should confirm that means we can use this for the configuration compliance check and first we need to create a reference config for indented config we'll go to vs code and here inside this particular device i'll create a directory i will call this golden config maybe we can keep this as a reference config for running diff against i will paste the file here and rename this to r1.txt we will keep this as the reference config for this device even this option also we can design based on your requirement all these scripts are for learning purpose if you are planning to implement these on production system i would recommend you to test your use cases thoroughly in non prod before you are adding this into production so i have added a reference config in this particular directory now we need to add the argument indented config in our playbook i'll open the file here intended config base and here we'll be using lookup plugin because we need to read this particular file we can use lookup plugins for reading the content from external sources i will copy paste the content here paste it and here i am using file lookup plugin and this will be able to read a file from the location and giving the absolute path of this particular file r1.txt we are running this only on r1 if you want you can add these directories in all these other devices also for doing the compliance check and later we have one more option you are planning to keep the configurations common for all the devices you can even give diff ignore lines for the device specific configs now here we are reading the inventory host name we can see the directory here inventory host name here it is going to be r1 inside that we have a golden config directory and then r1.txt so this will be able to read the content from this and do a comparison now here i'll change this to intended save it and we'll try to run this with hyphen hyphen diff in the intended config it is test domain dot com and in our current config it is test dot com that is why it is showing the difference here 
we'll try to change this to test domain.com save it and we'll try to run this now this has changed the configuration in the device next time if you run it it will say it is compliant now changed is false now we'll see how to use diff ignore lines for example here in this internet file i'll change the host name vios611 and now we'll try to run this again this time it will say there is a difference in the host name configuration we can see the difference here this is the current config and this is the config which is available in intended config if you want to ignore this line within this particular task we can give diff underscore ignore underscore lines we can give multiple lines here here i'll give host name space star save it now ansible will ignore this particular line from comparison we'll try running this now configuration is compliant now if you want to see the configuration without making any changes in the device i'll give test domain one.com here and instead of diff i'll give check before giving check we can see the help of ansible playbook command hyphen 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 h and if you give hyphen hyphen check this won't make any changes in the device instead this will try to predict the changes which may occur so we can try running this with hyphen hyphen check so this is the command it is going to execute in the device and status will become changed if you run this particular playbook and now if you verify the current config it will be still test domain.com and it is not pushing the configuration from hyphen hyphen check and if we remove hyphen hyphen check this will try to push the configuration to the device so in this tutorial we have seen how to use hyphen hyphen diff option in the sqios config module